Uh, so today I want to talk a little bit, sort of go on an offshoot off what we talked about last week with sticking to the basics and avoiding all the sort of fluff stuff. Um, or not getting too wrapped up with um, sort of accessory movements. So what I want to talk about today is something that we overlook and neglect a lot. Um, super basic concept should be the most fundamental thing of any training program. Um, but for some reason, a lot of training certifications, college coursework, they don't seem to hit on it. And that's just the basic idea of progressive overload. Um, in conversations with people I'll have, when we're talking about strength training, the people that don't seem to like weights or don't like strength training, they they don't seem to push themselves or they don't seem to understand the concept that over time you either need to lift heavier weights, do more reps with the same weight, or do more sets. Um, in some way the workout needs to accumulate more volume and if that doesn't happen your body's not going to change and you're not going to feel like you're making any progress which of course it's going to be boring if you're doing that. Um, so if you, if you keep going and doing the same workout over and over again and you never add weight to the bar or you never do more reps or you never do more sets and accomplish more work, then that, def that definitely is going to get boring. It would be no different than walking at the same speed on the same trail or on the same treadmill every single day and never make it more challenging for yourself. And in the same regard, you're not going to make any progress, and you're going to get incredibly bored while doing that. So weights really are, this, are the same thing. And I think, you know, I was having a conversation with one lady in particular, and, you know, she was doing the, the high-intensity interval training for cardio. She was doing a spin class. Um, she was doing some group exercise classes, and she really enjoyed all those things. Um, and the common denominator it sounded like was that she tended to sound like she was pushing herself and... Um, there was variety there, but I think more so she felt a sense of accomplishment with those workouts. When I talked to her about her strength training, you know, her workouts that she was doing, she, that she was getting bored with, I asked her, you know, the, in our conversation that came up, well, how much weight have you put on, you know, your, your squats over the last year? And over the entire year, she'd only added 10 pounds to the bar. For somebody, you know, unless you're completely debilitated and maybe a physical therapy patient with some really severe issues going on, adding 10 pounds to a bar over an entire year, unless you're an elite level lifter who's at the top level and you're trying to go from a 600 pound squat to a 600, you know, 50 pound squat, or, you know, or 600 to 610 pound squat, sorry, um, adding 10 pounds is, is hardly significant at all. Um, so of course you're gonna. I would get incredibly bored too if I went to the gym and did the exact same way, the exact same sets, the exact same reps over and over and over again. That would be incredibly boring. Um, I just have trouble relating to people when they talk about getting bored. I mean, I've for the last five years I've squatted, bench pressed, deadlifted um, every single week without really skipping a beat for you know for five years straight. And it, it's not boring because I can continually look at my journals and see that more weight's being lifted um, over time. And that's what it takes to, to cause your body to change. Your, your body only changes if there's enough stress to give your body a reason to change. So whether we're talking about becoming, you know, building a bigger, more muscular body, thicker, uh, more durable tendons and ligaments, um, stronger, more dense bones, or just becoming stronger, you know, strength adaptations are a lot of, a lot of that is neurological as well, not just the actual physical changes, but all of those things require that we progressively do more, that we do more sets, more weight, more reps. Um, it doesn't have to be huge jumps, but there should, there has to be a trend of improvement every workout um, in some way. And there can be periods where you back off briefly, but over the course of a year, we need to grab, we need to consistently be doing more if you want to see changes and if you want to progress, just like you would if you were a runner or a swimmer or anything else. You have to do more if you want to achieve more.